Okay, guys, you guys can see here that the wizard um, theme is moving forward. There's a couple things missing out of the scene is the drawbridge and uh, I mean the little bridge and the troll and another big tree and one of the owls. That's a just carved Rob wizard that he carved and sent me right there. So what I'm going to do today is requested by one of my friends out there in Belfast, Ireland and uh, subscriber. And he's got his own channel. You guys might want to check him out. I can carve. He's been too br pretty busy to make videos, but he's been a great help for this channel, guys. So I want to make another totem pole, a spirit pole for him because he asked me to do a video. I don't know if he asked me to do that video, just bugging me and trying to get to me, or he just wanted to see me do it. But this is basswood, just carve Rob carves this stuff lots, guys. He whittles it. This stuff carves real good with knives. But today I'm going to use a different types of burrs. And it's not going to, this, this is an eagle kind of thing on the top. But this one's going to be an owl with his wings on the side and it's going to face forward. See, this owl, its wings on the side and its face is on the side. But this owl, that, this owl is going to be facing forward with his wings. Like, he's just going to be facing God down forward, okay? So that's that. That's what I'm going to be doing. Hey, Grumpy Jesse. What, Jordy, what? Think about Jordy, you're crazy. guys okay so before I start carving that um, basswood I just want to take a quick couple minutes and give a couple great friends a shout out this piece of wood was sent to me from Carlos Cortez from Puerto Rico okay Puerto Rico this wood is Lagnum Viata Carlos sent this piece of wood to me and love to see me carve it this wood once again Lagnum Viata I might be saying it wrong is supposed to be the densest wood in the world okay and thank you very much Carlos I just want to say thanks man like um you know I love carving different types of uh Carlos has a little wood spirit on there just to get it he just carved it quick just to get it through the border okay so he can call it art right because if you send a piece of wood through the border you might have a time but if you carve something on it or you want to send wood you draw something on it and you call it art so this piece sits flat like that. I'm not going to carve it today, but I'm going to be staring at it for a couple days and figure out what I want to carve on it because it's a beautiful piece of wood. Carlos, I know, is excited to see me carve it, what type of burrs and stuff I use. But um, don't forget, guys, they call me heavy hounds. So this, this is a challenge. Sure is a challenge. The densest wood in the wood world, guys. This is pretty heavy. So I'll be putting this where I can see it all the time and visualize what I want to carve on it okay which way I want to put it and this you know it's like there's wood inside of the wood it's like this big root grew inside of this hardwood but anyways that's that thank you very much Carlos and be looking for a video next week if I get some time to carve it I don't want to just do a simple carving on that I want to do something real nice and make the beauty in the in the wood show you know what I mean densest wood in the world right here Okay, so that's that. Also, I got something else today in the mail. From David Lanier. I hope I said it right, Lanier. But he made me something. I didn't I wasn't expecting anything, but this is one of my subscribers here, guys. And he sent this to me. It's called art. He sent me a piece of art. So let's see what it is. He's in Texas. He's in Highland Drive, Texas. Rusk, Texas. So let's open this up and see what it is. I don't uh, want to cut anything. But before I even see it, Dave, I want to say thank you. Look at that. Look at that, guys. To Jordy.
2020. Sign it. It's got a couple hammers on there. Heavy hands. I love it, David. I really do. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to put a hanger on it and I'll hang it where all I put all my other carvings that uh, all the subs send me. Thank you so much, man. I love the sledgehammers too and the banner. Heavy hands. <laughs> you guys, I just want to take a second to say um, how grateful I am for, you know, for all. I'm lucky to have all you subscribers in, in this channel. And for the new subscribers and you know what's I think it's really beneficial to everybody and I know I pump out lots of videos and I, lot, I know lots of them are stupid but you know I can only get better the more videos I make right because it's all learning progress even with the carving it's a learning progress but how special I feel to get stuff like this and stuff like this from people that I don't even know that are becoming online friends it's just crazy and it just makes me feel well it just you know it just makes me feel really great and it makes me want to move forward and get better and try and help people get better too not with carving but just like with um tricky life situations you know it means a lot that looks like los angeles kind of sign it thanks ma'am i love it i really do couple days it will be up i'm building a whole new room guys for a stage set kind of thing so it's like a studio but uh, so this will be up in there one day so thanks again i love it man i really do thank you okay guys so here's the piece of basswood okay like i said earlier i want to try and create another pole a uh, spirit pole okay so i have on the top this one's an eagle this one's going to be an owl so you know an owl's face, like looking at it from the back, from the top view of the owl is kind of like this, right? Owls are pretty simple to do, guys, because, well, they can look like what you want it to look like. They don't have to, like, look like a real owl. Like, if you look at pictures of owls and kids' pictures and stuff, like, not even kids, just like, some people have big eye owls, little eye owls. So, oh yeah, this guy's going to have front wings, so that's going to be his chest. So his head's going to be here, okay? There's no there's no really even sense for me drawing this on because... So I'm going to cut all this bulk away here anyways, okay? So that's what I... I don't even know what I'm going to say in this video. So I know it's already getting long, so i got to hurry up and make it quick. So this is a cuts all bit, guys. Extreme taper burr. Once again, I know I repeat myself every video, but I want I want you guys to know what burrs I like to use. This is a cuts all extreme. I'm going to block out the head with this burr. Super aggressive, guys. Put your burrs in tight there. Push them in tight and pull them out just a little bit so it doesn't wreck the bearings in your hand piece. I'm running a Dremel 4300. Here's another cuts all extreme. This is like a, a, a cone burr or something. It's pretty aggressive. And this is another cuts all. It's a little bit plugged up. I have to clean it with less aggressive. I just, get, I just clean this with... Uh, uh, brass or wire brush. I don't care what they say. They say don't use wire brushes, but I just turn my Dremel on for a second, tap it on the wire brush, all this shit's out of there, okay? And also, guys, I'm going to be using diamond burrs. Diamond burrs come in different grits, too, okay? You can see here I got all different sorts of grits of diamond burrs. But I, I've had these for a couple years, and I'm only just starting to use them now as I start to do smaller pieces and more detail. Just Carve Rob loves to use these, too. But you guys can get a set like this from Harbor Freight for like seven bucks if you're in the States. Or you can even search these diamond burrs on um, uh, uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that, okay? So let me just get start carving here. I'll get this head blocked out. And I'll just kind of stop here and there. Like you guys don't need to see. I just want to show you how I do it. I don't know. Okay, but this is basswood. This is really good wood to carve, guys, because there's not really... There's not really a grain in this wood. It's it's a lot different. It's like it's kind of like a super condensed foam. That's the way I would I would say it. Super soft wood to carve. Fuzzy when you're using these. Okay, stop talking carve.
Okay, guys. So this is what I got blocked out from the owl. See, I kind of got his wings tucked. It's This white wood is kind of uh, well, like whiter wood's harder to carve because it's hard to see your lines, right? You know, it's hard on the eyes to carve, in my opinion. So here's his head. His head might be a little bit too tall. I might cut it down lower. There's its wings. They kind of fold over each other. It's got his tail in there. Okay, see how fuzzy this wood is, guys? So now, like this piece, I'm going to uh, carve a wood spirit in his chest. Okay? And then I'm going to carve a couple wood spirits around here and stuff, too. So I believe this is the point where I'm going to switch over to the diamond burrs, you know? I got all the choice, like eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a hot looking blonde with a stripper body by the toe. Found it. Okay, so guys, if you want to learn how to carve a wood spirit the way I do, I got a couple playlists. I got a couple series in my playlist. You can follow those series, and it's a step by step. So, because it just takes too much uh, time in the videos for me to explain on every video. But always have a center line, guys. Okay, so there's his nose is in, his eyes are in, and um, we're just going to make this guy's mustache do the same thing, kind of like this, wrap around each side, and uh, yeah, on with the on with the wood spirit, carving games, okay, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be hooking up this little diamond burr, and I'm going to be going, giving her, I'm going to be giving her shit, guys, I'm going to go to town, crank some Metallic, old school Metallic, and just give her shit. Hey guys, so that's what we got so far. Now what I'm going to do, I should probably carve the owl's face in first because that's what I'm least good at. So it'll be his beak here kind of thing. I don't know, maybe his eyes. It's going to be a funny looking owl. It's going to be a funny looking owl. That's okay, some owls are funny looking, but you know what? You know why I like carving owls? Because I think they're cool. And they're predators too. Okay, so funny looking owl. Let's carve the beak. <laughs> Beak's too big. Just have fun, guys. That's what you can ask for. Have fun. Okay, here's the owl. He comes from a special planet as he sits on the wizard's head. I forget the name of the planet he comes from, but it will come to me. He is made from a special red orb. He's a robotic owl, and he's very aggressive. He stands on guard with the spirit give the wizard notice 
of when the dragon awakens. He is the dragon. Owl. That's what he is. And he's robotic. Very, very, very aggressive owl. You can see it in his eyes. So when the dragon awakens, this owl from the planet, I can't remember, and this eagle, they leave the spirits. If they don't fall down, they leave the spirits and they fly around and they give the wizard calls saying the dragon has been awoke or awakened. I think it's awakened. But don't, definitely. Don't, damn it. Don't mess around with this owl because he'll get you. Oh, yes, he will. Okay, so I got some wood spirits laid out in this sucker and time to carve some wood spirits. They're all going to be like, whoosh, flowing with the wind. You know, you see the, I got his beard penciled in there. Whoosh, it's all this way. This one's kind of this way. So I thought I'd make this one whoosh, sway this way. So one, two, three, four, one on each corner. Five. Yeah, four. Four wood spirits. Okay, time to carve the spirits. Yep. Oh, it's a mean looking owl, I tell ya. Mean sucker. Okay. So this is what you call Jordy having a good time. Oh yeah. I still forget the name of the planet that uh that uh electric e that uh robotic owls god damn it. Okay, so this is what you call Jordy having a good time. What do you say about that, Oswald the Grouch? You green, grouchy, garbage can, Oswald. So, yeah, just carving away. Getting lost in the piece, guys. So, this guy has... Damn, God damn. This guy has six wood spirits. Not, not, these aren't wood spirits. These are wizard spirits. Okay, let's get that clear. So, this guy has six. I still have not remember the name from the uh, for the robotic owl on top there. So let's see these spirits. One, two, three. See there, there's one up there. I just slid one right there. Slid it in. Four. Five. Or maybe it's okay. One, two, two brothers. They're all brothers. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six. I love that part. Just bust them in there, man. Get them in. This is me having a really good time. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'd probably say this is uh, maybe an hour and a half, two hour carve for me. Basswood, guys, it's really soft and it holds detail pretty good too, in my opinion. So um, I'm going to pull out some little small detail burrs and I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's just like uh, doing the big, like I'm going to cut in little hairs like this with the burr. Like it's a little tiny miniature metal working burr and it's the same type of burr that I do the normal wood spirit hairs with. Okay, so hold on. Okay guys, so these are the aluminum work uh, cutting burrs, right? Go to the description below and the link to them is in my uh, Amazon. Yeah, I'm an Amazon affiliate. I gotta goddamn say that every time. I'll get shit from Amazon if I don't. So these are the aluminum cutting burrs. Just go to the description below. And these small burrs, I got a uh, link for these too. So what I'm going to use for, uh-oh, uh it's not in here. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. I'm going to use this little tiny one. Like, look at the size difference, guys. Detail burrs. I'm going to use this. Let's see if it can zoom in here. So you can see a cut, see that cutter on the back side. So I'm going to run this on edge on the corner there just to put a bunch of little hairs and whippity do things throughout it. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I got it all cleaned up. Doing a smaller carving like this is pretty good too because it doesn't create such a huge mess. Like, look at the little bit of dust I got around here. You know, and um, it's a lot 
less harder on your hands carving smaller stuff like this and softer wood you know like you don't have to really grip that uh, hand piece for the dremel and um but whatever okay i'm talking too much so let this is a wood burner i got you guys can get it in the description below it's on amazon i think it was like 50 or 60 bucks it works all right i'm going to sooner or later upgrade to a better one so i might have this for a giveaway one day this one that i've used put a sticker on it but um anyways turn her on I gotta charge my phone, it's gonna die. So what I'm gonna do is um, burn inside the eyes with this and burn a bunch of the little lines and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna uh, get some wood stain. I think I might use um, red and yellow colors or should I make it the same? I, I might just use red and um, just to make it the same because I'm planning put on putting these on each door, each side of the wizard house, okay? So yeah. Probably better if I just uh, quit. Probably helps if I plug this thing in too. So anyways, I'll get all that done and I'll be back. Okay guys, so here's what I got so far. This is my, I hate this part of the carving because it kind of reminds me, I don't know, like fucking weird Van, 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 Quil, Van Quiltrist shit, however you say it. So anyways, what I'm going to do now, because when you use that burner, you get burn marks. Like, it, it's hard to explain, but... Like the burn travels because I had it up a little bit too hot. But so, you know, I figured I should stop and just show you guys what I'm going to do next. I'm going to use this little flap, my flap sounder, really lightly, go over it quickly, and we'll just give it some better highlights. You can see I already hit around the eyes with it. See how it's white around the eyes because that will give it better highlights when you put the uh, red um, powder water based dye stain. Yep, Jesus, that was hard to say. Okay, guys, so I got it sanded down really super light, guys, really light, okay? So I got it sanded down now. Now, again, this is the wood dye that I use. I'm in Canada. This is powdered wood dye. There's lots of it in here. This is crimson red, and I, I got it mixed up there in warm water. They say to leave it for 20 minutes, so, like, I guess the... The dye can bleed into the water or whatever you say it. But I've been told from a couple of my subs, and thanks guys who pointed that out, that uh, I'm in British Columbia, Canada, but in Canada we have something called Lee Valley. But this is the stuff that I use. If you want to take a screenshot of this, aniline, wood stain, water soluble powder. It comes from the States. It's made in USA. But this is the name of the brand. And Lee Valley ships worldwide. It's 28 grams in here. Okay, one ounce. But if you want to take a screenshot of this, go ahead. Okay. So, and it's got lots of different colors. This dye's uh, worked pretty good for me. So I've mixed this red really, um, really dark. It's really dark. Dark red. It doesn't look too dark on there. Not, not even dark enough. Maybe I'll put a little bit more in there. Pete Lake watch, likes to watch this because he likes to see how much stuff I waste. Yep, I'm a waster, all right. I don't, like, I, I needed a quarter of this mixed up. Like, this is just warm water in there. Oh, that's a bit darker. Because I kind of want it to look like this one, right? So, yeah, that's good. What do you think, Pete? Think I got lots of waste in there? Okay, so I'll let this, uh, it's almost been, I'll let this sit 20 minutes and I'll apply that. And then after I apply this, I give it a, I, I dry it off with my dryer just to speed things up. And then I'm going to put poly shade over top. I love this stuff, guys. This is, took me a while to find this stuff, but I love it. And this stuff that I use on almost every one of my carvings for my smaller stuff. And this is the Mission Oak color. You guys can see how I'm good at sealing up my cans there, eh? Waster. Okay, so here we go. You can see how bright it's going to be off the top, right? Like, But as soon as we put the poly shade on, oh, that's a nice red color I got there. That's a beautiful mix-up job I did. Good job, Johnson. Good job. Ah, yeah, look at that beautiful red color in there. Nice and deep. It's almost like blood red okay so anyways I'm gonna put this all this stuff on 
this dye on, make sure I get everywhere. And then I'm going to, I might lightly, just lightly touch it with the sander again to get some more high points. Sound a little bit of a high points because then you get, well, how about I just finish this and I'll be back. Get that red. Oh, yes. So here's it all dyed. Look how cool that looks. Super cool red, like how it looks on camera. That's how it looks. actually looks here. It looks like almost like psychedelic. So anyways, it's going to darken up once, uh, what I call this, holy shit, or I don't know what I call it, but here goes, the, I'm going to put this stuff on, right? The poly shade. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this poly shade on, finish putting it on, wipe it off, and then I'm going to hit it again slightly with my uh, little flap sounder I got my Dremel that you can go to my playlist, find out how I make those, okay? So I'll get this done. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I spilt the red dye all over my table. But um, if you want, I can sell you this container for, um, I don't know, $30 billion. I can sell you the Carve Infusion paintbrush for, um, I don't know, $10 million. I can sell you this paint tray that I got here for, um, I don't know, $2 million. And... Um, this is the this is the special of the day, used gloves. I don't know. It's say say uh, ten thousand bucks. Damn it. Okay, so here's the old one that I did. Here's the new one. See how this is a little bit brighter and high points. How I sand it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna pull up my little flap sander and my drum will run it so slow. And um, when this the poly shade's still wet because it kind of acts like a smudger. Okay, so we're going to do that next. Just so lightly, guys. Okay, so there you go, guys. She done. I still haven't remembered where that, uh, what planet that owl's from. So if anybody wants to leave, uh, if they know, leave a comment what planet that owl is from. I'd love to hear about it. I like the way it turned out. Just having fun. This is me having fun, guys. Like this kind of stuff, just going up there. I think the back of the owl turned out pretty good. I'm getting better the more I do. Just like anything, guys. See, these guys look cool down here. His face is just kind of broken half and breaks into another spirit. This guy's like blowing off into the wind. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but that's it. Hope everybody's good. And you guys, you know, like getting into smaller carvings and stuff like this is really, it takes just as long for me to do a smaller carving like this and a bigger one because you're using smaller tools but it's less less aggressive on your hands you know what I mean so I hope everybody's good and um, I love to read the comments and don't forget to tell me what planet that uh, owl's from he's a mean son of a gun that guy oh yeah he just does it. he's the dragon watcher now I can eat my ice cream